so I guess this might become a reoccurring background every now and then. <laughs> hey guys, it's Valerie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi. Today, I kind of just wanted... I kind of just wanted to put the camera in front of my face and film and just like talk about whatever comes to my mind. Um... Yeah. So this is just me. Sorry, I'm trying to do something. Um, talking to you guys while I do my makeup and my hair. I only have mascara on right now, but I really just wanted to film a video and I really wanted to do my makeup because I felt like it. So here we are. Should I take off my mascara? I don't. I don't really want to do all of that, but I guess I will. Okay, I'm just gonna use a makeup wipe. I washed my face earlier. So I'm not going to wash it again. I'm only using a makeup wipe on my eyes, so it's fine. Alright, so this is the finished look. <laughs> wow! These makeup wipes are the worst thing ever. Like, all they do is, like, just smear it to the bottom. Or just smear it everywhere. And then you just have to keep going in, like, circles and getting it so many times. With my other makeup wipes, I literally wiped it, like, three times and it was gone. I have to like get in there and these are like so thin and like rough it literally hurts my eyes because they're from the dollar store because I'm broke <laughs> oh funny story this is a good story we can tell I'm risking getting in a lot of not a lot but like getting in legal trouble is it a lot I don't really know what happens when this happens but I got in the mail that my tags expire this month on my car and it costs $200 to get new ones. I have $2.64 in my bank account. And I know what you're thinking. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, you're probably like, Valerie, you said that you were going to be good with money. Yada, yada, yada. Um, you are correct. I did say that because I thought that was true. Every single month, we're like, all right, this is the last, like, Hard, t hard month, like after this month will be fine and then something just keeps happening. So my boyfriend's car died and he needed to get his fuel pumps replaced or something. My car battery died, I needed to get a new battery because it would not turn on. <sighs> roommate moved out, then, you know. And this month, my other roommate moved out. She decided to leave a month early. Now it's just me and my boyfriend until our new roommate moves in sometime this month. Oh yeah, I'm putting argan oil on my face, by the way. I love this stuff. I started using it before I do my makeup. And just like as a moisturizer. And I swear my skin was so clear when I woke up the next day. Like the first time I used it, I literally woke up and like several of my little, not pimples, but like my face just looked so much more clear. And I did notice that like one of the pimples that were starting to form like stopped forming and was gone. I don't know if that's what it's for. Like I don't know if it's supposed to help acne, but it says that you can apply it under your makeup as a daily moisturizer, nighttime treatment, and to heal and condition everything from cuticles to split ends. So you know what? <laughs> Magic basically is what I got from that. Anyway, shoot. I need to put my beauty blush on. I can honestly tell you that never once in my life have I like remembered to wet my beauty blender before I sat down to do my makeup. <sighs> so, CoverGirl Outlast foundation. <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> oh sh. Thanks. I got screwed with rent because my roommate wanted to leave a little bit earlier than when our lease was supposed to end. So that's why I only have two dollars, and now my tags are due on the fifteenth, and there's no way I'll have two hundred dollars by then. Get paid for like another two weeks because I just got paid, but that all went to rent. So I'm doing really good. <laughs> Moral of the story. And I need $120 by the 13th for my car insurance. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna happen. Being honest, I'm gonna get pulled over and not have any car insurance. Expired tags. My ass is going to jail. <laughs> so, um, yeah. If I just disappear for a little bit, like, sorry, I got arrested. <laughs> but hey, I still link my PayPal, my Venmo, and Cash App and all that in the description below. In case any of you guys are rich and like a hundred bucks is like nothing to you when it's like a million to me. <laughs> I'm not saying it's me a hundred bucks. I mean, I would like shed a couple tears probably if you did, but like, don't. Unless you're hella rich and you can afford to do that. If you're broke like me, don't send me anything because I know exactly 
what you're going through. So yeah, if any of you guys can never grow out, that stuff's always linked down below. <laughs> and for people who do help me, I really want to like write letters and thank yous or like send something to you, like a note to thank you. So if you do actually <laughs> send me anything, send me your address so I can mail you a thank you note. It might take a little bit to get there because I don't have any gas money so I can't really afford to go to the post office right now. And I also can't afford to go get envelopes right now, but those are only like a dollar, so as soon as I have an extra dollar, I'll go get, I'll do that, I promise. I just only have two dollars right now, so. Is this too much foundation? I feel like it kind of looks cakey, but then I also feel like there's not enough, like there's still kind of red spots, okay, but. We have a concealer though, so it's okay. Um, anyway, what else can we talk about? What else has been happening? I might be starting a new job type thing later this month. That's exciting. I'd be like helping cater weddings, which would be fun because I love weddings. I mean, it's $15 an hour. I need that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm assuming all of you watching have been watching the Shane Dawson the mind of jake paul series because that's all everyone is talking about imagine being like that big of an influencer that you you make a series that everyone is talking about on social media like on youtube and like <laughs> i've literally talked to so many like strangers in this past week and several of them have brought up like oh do you watch shane dawson on youtube like do you know who jake paul is i'm like yes like that's so crazy Imagine everyone, like, literally everyone talking about your series that you're making and, like, that's how big of an influence you have on people. Like, that's so amazing. I love Shane, though. I was so not expecting this. I would never picture, like, Jake Paul in one of Shane Dawson's videos. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just did not see that coming. And I don't personally watch Jake Paul, but honestly, I feel like half the people who are watching that series don't even watch Jake Paul, but just, like, know who he is. I don't know if... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the newest episode, like part six, comes out tomorrow and I'm gonna be uploading this the same day, hopefully. So I don't know what's gonna be in that because I haven't seen it yet, obviously. So I don't know if they're gonna announce this, but do you guys think that Jake Paul is a sociopath or psychopath? Either or, or do you think he's just how he was raised and like that's just his home life and like you know he doesn't know anything different? Comment down below. I'm honestly interested. Let's get this talk going. Also, did anyone else literally lay back and just sit there for like two hours thinking about every single person you know and their personalities, <laughs> wondering which one of them are psychopaths or sociopaths? Because I did. <laughs> and I kid you not, I'm pretty sure I've like scoped out like two or three, no, uh, two people that I know that are like friends or were past tense that are 1000% like psychopaths or sociopaths, like 1000%. They have to be, like I'm so sure, 99.9% .9 sure. It's honestly kind of, it's kind of crazy. I think it was like one in 25 people, like that is literally <laughs> insane. So I can't really talk that much when I do my eyebrows because I have to be so still and focus so hard even though no matter how hard I focus they always end up looking ugly. Okay, so I'm gonna stop recording so I can save some storage and battery life. I'll be back. Okay, this eyebrow is just so extremely bad and I need to pluck some hairs or something because it's, it's so messed up and I could not work with it. But this one's powder or anything. Powder. What was I talking about? Shane Dawson. Yeah, that stuff got me messed up. And I'm so tired and I feel like <laughs> no matter what I put on my face, you're gonna be able to tell. <sighs> Love that for me. If I'm being oh so honest with you, I'm not really sure what else to talk about. Oh yeah, um, I got a comment on my recent video talking about, or talking about, they didn't talk about anything. They literally just straight up said room tour. So, if you guys want a room tour, let me know. It's just not finished yet because we literally just moved in to this room this week and there's still a few things that we need to switch over from our old room to this room. It's also like twice the size, so it's like really empty, it feels like. So we need to finish it before I do that. But the bathroom's done, the bathroom's cute. I love the bathroom, but the room is not. And we're too broke to go get decorations and stuff right now. That's why I just wish I was rich. Imagine being able to be like, oh, I need some, New stuff for my room. I don't like how it looks. And just being able to like go to Target and buy whatever you want. <sighs> it must be nice. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see that. I think I'm going to 
finish up with my makeup and then come back because I'm also gonna straighten my hair and I feel like I've been recording for so long already and this ring light is making me really hot so I'm gonna take a break from filming, continue, and then come back and finish. Okay, so doing my makeup literally just took so long and I honestly don't like the way it turned out at all. It's literally like my everyday makeup but I just feel not cute right now <laughs> and I could not tell you why. I just do. Hopefully when I straighten my hair, maybe I'll feel cuter. I don't know. So everyone, I'm thinking that when this pink is done fading out that I want to continue trying to go to a lighter blonde because that was my original goal. I don't know if any of you knew. I basically want to be like pretty close to platinum. I think I'm going to like bleach bath it and like tone it a little. See if I can get it a bit lighter. I'm super excited. So I'm going to part my hair. I just do it like half up half down. Not really half up half down. The upper chunk is always a lot less than what's down here. And then I split the back in half like this and then tie off one side so that it's out of the way. Honestly, I'm curious as to if heat protection sprays actually do anything. Anyway. Oh, so I forgot that part of the reason that I wanted to do this on camera was because I wanted to show you my brand new straightener um so this is the irresistible me diamond straightener it's so pretty it's like a beautiful matte black with rose gold details and i don't know if you know anything about me but i'm literally obsessed with the color pink and rose gold is i think it's so pretty i love like the shade of pink and gold mixed together i don't know what i'm saying but i love rose gold i have many things that are in rose gold my cat just needs to bless you um, so yeah, and it also has like these super dope LED lights in them. I don't know if you can see that, but... And like the metal clamp things in there, like adjust to your hair and like seal the cuticles and add shine. And it goes up to 450 degrees, which is nice because I have really thick hair. And I just love it. It's so aesthetically pleasing. I've never had a cuter straightener. And I don't know what it is about it, but like holding it in my hand is so satisfying. Like the way that it feels is so nice and it's like skinnier than mine my other one I love it so much so if you're interested in getting yourself one of these I highly recommend uh, why did I straighten this strand again I, don't know. I highly recommend they're super cute they work very well I definitely have noticed that straightening my hair does not take as long as it used to before I got this so that's always a plus so if you're interested in getting one of these or you want to get it for your girlfriend your boyfriend your best friend whoever Christmas is not that far away, everyone. So, there's a link in the description if you would like to pick one up. And you can get 20% off by using my code GET20OFF. And the 20 is like the actual number 20, not the word. Yeah, pick up yourself a super cute rose gold hair straightener. It's so nice. <laughs> um, I decided that this is the look that I wanted to go for today. Drivers. Every single person, I swear, in the town that I live in, or city, whatever the hell it's called, I don't know. Um, it's a city. It's definitely a city. Everyone here is like old or just like, I don't know, on drugs, honestly. Would not be surprised. And they all drive like idiots. The speed limit on my, the main street I'm on is 45 miles an hour. And than everywhere else if you turn on any street it's 40 miles an hour for a while but everyone literally drives from like 25 miles an hour to like 35 and some of them too when i pass them and like look to see what they look like are normal like age looking people who like aren't on their phone i mean most of them are on their phone when i pass them but like sometimes they're not and they're just driving like that just because they don't know how to drive and it's so annoying and so many people here like cut me off too and just don't know how to drive at all this is like already straight i don't know why i keep going over them so many times but my hair just isn't that great with holding straightness or curls at all 
So I always go over it twice just to be safe. Like literally hairspray doesn't work either. I've noticed with this cleaner though, it does last a little bit longer. I think maybe it's because it gets hotter than my other one. I don't know. Oh my god, my battery's blinking at me already. Shoot. Okay, I'm honestly scared that I'm not gonna have enough battery life for my um, outro. So this is just gonna take a couple minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and come back again so that I'll have enough room to film my outro. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. My hair looks super cute. I can tell that it has a little bit of extra shine. I have already known this because I've used the straightener several times already before filming this video because I wanted to make sure it actually worked good before I just advertised it to everyone. So yeah, here's the finished look. I'm pretty sure I've already had my hair straightened by this curling iron in another video already. I don't know. But here it is again. <laughs> it's cute. It's straight. We love her. She's cute. So again, if you are interested in the Irresistible Me Diamond Rose Gold Straightener, please go ahead and click that link in my bio um, and use code GET20 off for 20% off. You're welcome. So yeah, I hope this video wasn't too boring. I feel like I had a lot of ideas of what to talk about in this video before I started filming and then I sat down and it, it was just blank. I didn't even finish talking about bad drivers. I'm so sorry. I'm so stupid. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, don't forget about those links in the description. <laughs> Make sure to comment down below what you guys want to see for me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.